and doctors are describing the Omicron variant as being as contagious as the measles. And as WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough tells us, healthcare leaders in our state are preparing for the possibility of a major surge here in the weeks ahead. Alabama's top doctor says our state could be hit with a wave of Omicron infections sometime in January, resulting in a potential further strain on hospitals, depending on how sick patients become. If you have a variant that's causing a lot more cases because it's a lot more infectious, uh, you, you can see you can still get into a problem with a lot of people uh, who are requiring uh, care in the hospital or, or worse. Um, if you have a, a whole lot of cases, even if the individual cases are, are less likely to be serious. The Alabama Department of Public Health's COVID-19 dashboard shows 16,353 COVID deaths in our state since the start of the pandemic. 9,168 of those deaths in 2021 when vaccines have been widely available. The monoclonal antibodies that we've been using from Regeneron and from Lilly do not work against Omicron. That's a fact. Despite many people choosing to get fully vaccinated, some people have still had breakthrough infections due to the Delta variant. That includes former state representative Jack Williams. It was about three weeks to, to really get going again. It, it uh, a lot of fatigue. With the Omicron variant appearing to be more contagious than Delta, Williams wants people to take every measure possible to protect themselves. I spoke to Dr. Wilson, the Jefferson County Health Officer, and he, he told me had I not been vaccinated, I absolutely would have been hospitalized. Doctors say while we may be done with COVID, it clearly is not done with us. For the next four weeks, avoid very large crowds. Knowing that what we've experienced the last two years will likely continue well into 2022. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.